Before I get into all that drama and receipts, let's just take a moment to celebrate. A moment. Just a moment. So Harry and Meghan attended the Beyonce Renaissance concert at the Sofa Arena in Inglewood, California. And of course, Daria stole the show. And it was just refreshing to see them just be loose, let loose a little bit. And as a content creator, it was also fun to respond to some of the clips I was seeing. And I was just like, I want to do this more often. Don't get me wrong, guys. You know I love pointing out hypocrisy and coming with receipts and telling the truth on a lot of these issues. But even I have to admit, sometimes it is mentally taxing. Not because of the, the research and uh, the stuff that I bring to or the stuff I talk about. It's more so like the vitriol um from the media that's just kind of it can get it can be a lot so to finally see in a very long time harry and megan just being having being loose and just having a good time was it was great to see but i know it's just for a moment because i know next week they're gonna try it and it's a good segue into I'm sure what you all came here for. So let's get to it. So if you were just to see this photo right here, right here, Harry, Harry in particular, if you were just to see that, take three seconds, what would you think? If that was the only thing you saw, if you had no context of what was going on before, between, and after, what would you think? Three seconds. You would probably think that he's miserable. You would probably think he's unhappy. He don't want to be there. Uh, Megan is controlling him. You, would be, you probably would think the, the stuff that they want you to think about this relationship and this narrative that they're pushing, pushing right now. I can't even say my words correctly. This is how annoyed I am. Already they started. Already. <laughs> One. Two. Three, I, I mean, it is, it's more too. So those articles came out like immediately when that picture that I showed you, this picture, like immediately when this picture was on the social media, that's how quick those articles came out. And there's two things, two things that I have an issue with because one, they reacted way too quickly before more footage, more fi not just photos, but footage, actual live videos I'm going to show you later. They quickly reacted to this one photo, one photo, because they wanted to get those clicks. They wanted to play on that narrative of these two being separate or divorced or whatever. They wanted those clicks. That is all that is based on. I don't know how many times I can explain this to people that it's just nothing but it's nothing it's just for clicks and i'm sure most of you get this by now but some people it's just it just doesn't click in their head and it's just for clicks and the second part to that is that they were even in the comment section of the people who were posting some of these videos and photos and this particular person who shot that photo of prince harry is a known hater on twitter which is a whole nother thing but this is the thing, this is how it works. When paparazzi or just anyone take a photo of certain celebrities or whatever, and if it's like a a market out there or it's it's a bounty for that person or whatever it is, they will get all the photos of that particular moment or moments or an event that these celebrities are at, and they would get every photo. This particular thing with Megan and Harry, they got these photos from this individual. I'm sure there's hundreds of them and they chose the few or the moments that they can take out of that camera roll that showed Harry just being. And once they found the photo to project that narrative that they're trying to push, they posted that they posted that photo in particular. And that was that was the whole thing. 
that it was so many other moments that showed differently. I'm going to show that after this. But they chose the one photo that they knew could, that could convey he's miserable, he's held hostage, they're, he's unhappy. They purposely did that. And this is why the media is in the place that it is now, especially UK media. It is at a dismal, like it is horrible because this is not news. This is just pushing a narrative for money, clicks, whatever you want to call it. But remember my last video? You can go check it out up here. Remember when I said that the media, the UK media has to be very careful teetering this line that they're on currently because if you go look at all these videos on TikTok or YouTube, whatever, the comments is chewing them up because now people is seeing that not only are they just lying, that is bo it's, it's now into some conspiracy territory, which kind of turns a lot of people, the regular folk off. These people aren't Sussex supporters. They're not Sussex squad members. They're not... They're not even the haters. They're just regular folks who casually see in this stuff. And they were like, no, there were videos of Prince Harry having fun. Like I'm about to show you now. Guys, I'm so tired. Guys, it, it was a, even a lot finding the energy to do this video because <sighs> life, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of stuff going on in life right now, personally. And I just felt like, no, I was like, Dre, just do this video because come Monday morning, there's going to be a whole bunch of think pieces. Commentators are saying any old thing, lie after lie, narrative after narrative, spin after spin. And I'm just like, you know what? Let me put out what's fact. Because unfortunately, when you deal with a group of people who have, who have made an oath to telling the truth and they're no longer doing that, So before I end this video, I hope this is helpful, not to my Sussex followers or supporters, because they know, but to the casual person, I hope you've seen that what we've been saying for a long time and what is not true, what is completely lies and what is looking like manufactured propaganda and someone with the axe to grind against both of them. And someone who is really trying to shape whatever narrative storyline that they're trying to shape about these two. I hope this video helps. Because this is going to continue. <laughs>